work, Mark. Everyone breathe deep and catch your breath. Now let's do it all over again. Get in there, grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet Cover back me! up with us. Sergeant Moody and I will find Price and Ingram. Move in!
Die Granate!
good job. All right, guys, we're moving on. Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back, we're gonna blow them! Goodness me, Americans! Made quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite all right. Uh, I can still walk. Captain Price, Captain Foley. Where's Major Ingram? They moved him to a camp. Not to worry. I overheard where. Truck's out front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt. Let's pile in. We're getting out. Captain, what about Major Ingram? We'll be back for him. Get in. Okay, Martin. We're about ready to ram the gate. With less than ten minutes from your first shot to pull this off. Take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck.
Okay, Martin, we're about ready to ram the gate, with less than 10 minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guard. <laughs>
There's a spot of luck. Come to collect me, have you? Lead on, lads. No time for handshakes and hellos. Gentlemen, thus far you've been training hard at Exeter for a special purpose. This special purpose, obviously, has something to do with the capturing of bridges. What I'm about to explain is top secret material. If any of you blokes mention the word bridge outside of this room and I hear of it, and I will, you'll be RTU'd on the spot. The invasion of Europe will take place across five main beaches along the Normandy coast of France. Elements of the British Second Army will strike at gold and sword beaches, along with the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division at Juneau. To the west, the Yanks will take Utah and Omaha Beach. Now, the entire eastern flank of the invasion will be exposed to a German counterattack from the Calais region. Should the Germans break through, they could very well have tanks rolling through Sword Beach and all the way down to Utah, wiping out the entire beachhead. Our task, along with the rest of the 6th Airborne Division, is to secure that flank at all costs.
by capturing and holding key bridges along the axis of approach. D Company's objective is this bridge over the Khan Canal. Under cover of darkness, the gliders will put us down in the field next to the bridge. From there, we rush the pillbox and prevent the Germans from blowing the bridge. At least one Bren gun will provide a base of fire while we flank it from both sides. Once we've captured the bridge, we hold it until relieved, which could take several hours. During that time, we may find ourselves using the Germans' own weapons against them. So I suggest you familiarize yourselves with the captured ones we have on base. Good luck, and Godspeed. Dismissed! We're on course. We're not to back north two degrees. Five, four, three, two, one, and bingo. Two degrees start on course. All right, everyone, race for landing. Everyone all right? Mills! Yeah, I'm fine. Just great. But no! Let's go! Let's go! Move! Move! Come on! Sergeant Evans, glad you're still with us. We're in luck. The Germans haven't responded to our stellar landing. Find a good spot to suppress their bunker. We'll advance behind your base of fire.
Sergeant, go back across. Get to their flag on this. Turn it on that tank. I kill you. Take him with you. Get him to free up the bloody thing. Captain, we salvaged the area. Apart from some medical supplies, all we found were a couple of rifles and several Panzerfausts, which are woefully inaccurate. Thank God we still have that flat gun. We can use it to hold the bridge until our relief shows up.
I believe that's the last of them. Excellent work, lads. Bloody well done. All right, settle down. We got new orders straight from SOE, as well as two new transfers from the 6th Airborne to help us carry them out. They were highly recommended for this operation as a result of their actions on D-Day. Captain Price, Sergeant Evans, welcome to 3 Troop. Now, let's get down to business. These are the locations of the major hydroelectric dams in the Ruhr industrial region of Germany. Their main purpose is to provide electrical power to the factories and cities throughout the area. Last year, a clever fellow by the name of Dr Barnes Wallace created an odd sort of bomb that was specially designed to breach dams. Using these bombs, the dam busters from 617 Squadron successfully breached the Mona and Eda dams, causing extensive flooding and damage to the industrial heart of Germany. The bad news is the bastards have already repaired the damage done, and Bomber Command wants to have another crack at these targets. This is the Eda dam. We're to make a night drop on this one. From the DZ, it's a day's tab through unpopulated areas around the dam's reservoir. Dropping in any closer is impossible, as the enemy flak is simply too concentrated around the dam itself. Our mission is to locate as many of these anti-air guns as possible, wipe them out so that the bombers can make their runs. 
This building at the foot of the dam houses the electrical generators. Our orders are to blow this structure in the event that the bombers fail to breach the dam. We set the explosives on a short timer, then get the hell out of there by truck to a nearby airfield and appropriate suitable air transport from the enemy. You all know what to do. Check and test your magazines, zero your sights, and review the maps and photographs carefully. We'll receive signals and embarkation details within the next two hours. Good luck.